Hi everyone, this is Pastor Bob and this is Life with Luke number 72. This last Sunday we looked at Luke 22 verses 1 through 23, a really remarkable passage that shows Jesus uh, making arrangements to have a very specific, very special meal, one last meal with his disciples. It was a meal that they'd had many times together and all of them through their whole life, the Passover meal, the one meal that God commanded people to observe, to remember, to eat, to remember the story of the Passover, the God who saw the slaves, the Israelite slaves in Egypt, and noticed them and sent Moses to save them and did remarkable things to rescue them and to make them his own people. Jesus is there surrounded by his friends, the people he spent the last three years with, but he's also surrounded by enemies. He's surrounded by Judas and particularly, in particular, who is making plans to betray Jesus, and Peter, who will deny that he knows Jesus, and all the rest of the disciples who will eventually turn and run away when Jesus is arrested. Jesus is living out what David said in Psalm 23, you've prepared a table before me in the presence of my enemies. How does Jesus do that? How does he extend this grace and mercy of the gift of his body and his blood? It's by remembering the story of the Passover, the story of the Exodus, the God who rescues. And he teaches us to do the same too because we are surrounded by people who let us down. We're surrounded by difficult situations. We're surrounded by uh, things that, are, that come against us. And Jesus teaches us to turn to God, to turn to the author of the Exodus, the God of the Passover, who notices his people, who cares, who, rescu who rescues. We find the meaning for our life in that biblical story. And Jesus is teaching that for us as well, to turn to the God of the Passover, to rely on his abundant table that he spreads for people who turn to him in the midst of their struggles who uh, provides everything that we need, gives us his resources so that we can make our way through the difficulties of this life. So check out the service, be encouraged, and have a great week.